Assalamu alaikum friends today we will discuss introduction of fourier series periodic phenomena involving waves rotating machine and other repetitive driving forces are described by periodic functions fourier series are basic tool for solving ordinary differential equations and partial differential equations with the periodic boundary conditions fourier series can be defined as that it is an expansion of a function or representation of a function in a series of sines and cosine waves is called fourier series for example we have a vibrating body like tuning fork when a tuning fork vibrates sound waves in the form of sine waves and cosine waves are generated this is called the sine waves and this is called cosine waves if we have two tuning forks of different frequencies and they vibrate simultaneously then after vibration sine waves will be produced for example this one is the sine wave produced by first tuning fork and this one is the sine wave of second tuning fork so if we look at this we will observe that both waves have different frequencies when these waves superimpose each other simultaneously a resultant wave like this will be produced this resultant wave is a combination of two sine waves similarly if we have three tuning forks the first tuning fork has a frequency of 100 hertz second tuning fork has a frequency of 200 hertz and third one has a frequency of 300 hertz and all of these tuning forks vibrate simultaneously then three types of sine waves will be produced For example this is the sine wave produced by first tuning fork and this one is the sine wave produced by second tuning fork which has a frequency of 200 hertz and this one is the sine wave produced by the third tuning fork which has a frequency of 300 hertz when these three waves superimpose each other simultaneously then a resultant wave like this will be produced this dark line shows the resultant wave of these three sine waves if you look at this graph this one this one and this one means the dotted lines shows the sine waves produced by three tuning forks and this dark line shows the resultant wave similarly if we have a large number of sound sources and they sounded simultaneously then the resultant wave will have different forms the nature of resultant waves depends on the frequency and amplitude of individual wave the resultant wave may contain sine wave or cosine wave or both sine and cosine waves we can represent this sine and cosine waves by mathematical equations which contain large number of sine and cosine waves for example f of x is equal to a1 cos x plus a2 cos 2x plus a3 cos 3x plus so on and similarly this equation may contain b1 sin x plus b2 sin 2x plus b3 sin 3x and so on this equation can be written as summation n start from 1 up to infinity a n cos n x plus summation n start from 1 up to infinity b n sin n x here in this equation we introduced a new term a naught by 2 plus summation 1 up to infinity i can write these terms together as a n cos n x plus b n sin n x here the a naught by 2 shows the dc line 
so in some cases the resultant wave may be above the baseline and in some cases the resultant wave may be below the baseline if an r by 2 is plus then the waves may be above the baseline if n r by 2 is negative then the wave may be below the baseline for example this one is the baseline so the wave may be above this one and may be below this baseline so we introduce n r by 2 in this term and this is called fourier series this is the series of sine and cosine waves here in this case the a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 are called fourier coefficient we can find this coefficient by its equation which we will derive in the next few coming lectures in order to apply Fourier series the function must satisfy certain conditions which are called Dirichlet conditions. First one is that the function should be single valued. The second condition is that that the function should be absolutely integrable. For example, if we have a function which is defined in the boundary condition between minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx this function must be integrable it has some finite value the next condition is that there must be finite number of maxima and minima in the function for example if we have a wave like this one in this wave we have minima one minima which is a zero this one is zero this here it is zero here it is zero and zero minima we have one minima but if we look at the maxima this one is the one maxima and this one is the second maxima so there must be a finite number of maxima and minima in the function and the last condition is that there must be finite number of discontinuities in the function so this is called fourier series in this series a naught a n and b n are called fourier coefficients if the limits of integrations are between minus pi to plus pi then we will use this Fourier series but if the limits of integrations are between minus L to plus L then we will use this series here a naught is equal to 1 or 2 L from minus L to plus L f of x dx and a n is equal to 1 over L into minus l to plus l f of x cos n pi x l dx and b n is equal to 1 over l integration from minus l to plus l f of x cos n pi x l dx so we can find the values of a naught a n and b n with the help of these equations these equations we will derive in the next few lectures if the limit is between minus pi to plus pi then this l will be replaced by pi and this pi and this pi will cancel and we will get here n x only and here pi and here also pi and this l will be replaced by pi so this is something about the Fourier series